So you say that this is probably one of your most, most personal books yet? Yeah. How, how is this the most personal? Well, I see the progression of like the gifts of imperfection is be you. Daring greatly is be all in. And rising strong is fall, learn, get up, and do it again. Mm. Um, and so it's the most personal book because as I was writing it, really the heart of this book is about these really dangerous stories we make up when we're in the midst of struggle, when we're in a fall. Um, we are neurobiologically hardwired to make sense of that fall, to make sense of our hurt as fast as we can. And if we can come up with a story that makes sense of it, our brain chemically rewards us for that story, whether it's accurate or not. And so for me, what became very important is to write a book to help people understand when you fall, the stories you make up about your fall need to be really tested. And so as I was writing it, what I realized was that my stories of failure and heartbreak were the ones that gave me the most access to understanding what was happening behind the scenes in the story. Mm. Because we all do it. We all do it. I mean, if you and I finish this interview and we walk down the hill yeah. and I say, thanks a lot, Oprah, I really appreciate it, and you go like this, My brain takes yeah. that as anxiety or fear, and I immediately make up a story. I knew she never liked me. <laughs> I, that, that, that Super Soul Sunday really sucked. I didn't do the right thing. It was terrible. Um, and then all of a sudden, I have a, I'm working off a whole narrative. How I treat you the next time I see you is off that narrative. Um, wow. And then, you know, it just keeps going and going. So how do we make sure that, or know that the story that we're telling ourselves is in alignment with what actually did happen. Yeah, that's, that's the, the rising question. strong process. That's the rising strong process. Right. Yes. So if we use that example of just you and I yeah. together. And so there's three pieces, the reckoning, the rumble, and the revolution. The reckoning has two easy, seemingly easy, but pretty difficult pieces. The first thing I have to do is when you look at me like that and I feel something in response to it, yeah. I have to... A, acknowledge, woo, a button's been pushed. Yeah. I've been hooked on so something emotionally is happening yeah. here. I'm yeah, responding. Yeah, yeah. And then I have to be willing to get curious about what it is. So instead of immediately going to my crazy story, I have to go to, okay, I'm emotionally hooked around something. I don't know what just happened, but I'm feeling like stressed out about it or it hurt my feelings or something and I need to figure out more. I mean, and The reckoning is, is actually the recognition of it. Reckoning, yeah. something emotional has yeah. happened. Yeah. And I, and, but the big piece of the reckoning, and this is the part that really shocked me, is I'm willing to get curious and look into it. Yeah. Where, you, do you know how many people are not curious about emotion because that was just drilled out of yeah, us yeah, growing yeah, up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.